Good morning, everyone. I just wanted to uh, say thank you for joining us today. And um, I do want to go over a couple housekeeping things with you. Um, so you, you joined us for the info series number 12, which we're going to focus on van pulling. And if anyone has any questions during our presentation today, if you could put them in the chat box, that would be great. We're going to, um, after our guest speaker, we're going to do a little um, review of our Rideshare Delaware program, and then we'll have time for questions and answers. So again, thank you for joining us. And um, again, we are here to focus on van pooling today, but before we do, I just wanted to give you a little overview about the Rideshare Delaware program. So you do hear us talk about Commute Solutions. So we will be transitioning our name into Delaware Commute Solutions uh, in the beginning of 2021. But as you know it now, Rideshare Delaware is a program through the state of Delaware. It's free. We're a service under the DART umbrella. And then we offer uh, employers, employees, colleges, and um, students a way to improve the air quality in the state by reducing the traffic and congestion. So when you champion a clean commute in uh, Delaware, you're actually taking part of that greater initiative for the state. And the whole, the whole program premise is actually dedicated to reducing the number of single occupant uh, vehicles on the roadways, and that in, enhances the, uh, the traffic um, flow on the roads and like I said, the air quality. I just wanted to review some of the commute solutions that are available for Delawareans today. And so you have, um, you know, these options available to you, carpooling, bicycling, transit. We actually do van pooling, which we're going to focus on today, walking, telecommuting, and then also if you're full or part time and then compressed work weeks. They're all modes of clean commuting in the state of Delaware. And how um, the Rideshare Delaware program, we what we work with uh, employers and the employees is actually we um, we work directly with you to be able to come up with customized computer uh, plans. And then also um, we provide updates through our website and through um, our social media, all of our program materials available online. And then also you can download those materials. We have how-to videos. We actually can come in and do customized uh, plans for your employees. And we actually do them virtually now that we're all working from home. And then we, um, we actually do obviously virtual uh, meetings like we're doing today. We're gonna have our guest speaker come in and be able to work on um, specific information on van pooling. I will, as we go through the rest of the presentation, I'm going to turn off the camera just to save the bandwidth. And again, thank you for joining us today. Oops. excuse me, little technical difficulty um, when you can't see your little uh, navigation window. But I did want to introduce Kate um, Copperwaite. So Kate works with the uh, Commute with Enterprise, and she actually has been with them for 17 years. She grew up in the Delaware uh, Valley region, so she has specific knowledge on commuting um, uh, needs within the Delaware uh, network that we we are uh, working within and then also she you know she's here today to actually work on uh, providing customized transportation solutions through their commute division so I did want to say thank you to Kate and then I'll go ahead and turn it over to you thank you Awesome. Thank you so much, Kathleen. Thank you again uh, for having me and I'm excited to have this opportunity to just share a little bit about what we do and hopes to be able to help some employ employers out there and obviously employees find another solution to get to and from the work site. Um, so I'm going to start at the bottom, just going through the basics of what a van pool is. So a van pool functions like a large carpool. So what we do is we provide a customized solution and we work to connect anywhere between four to 15 people 
who live close to each other. And when we say close, uh, generally that could be two to three miles. We also have other instances where it could be two to 15 miles and anything in between. Uh, the beauty of our program is that it can be customized for each specific business and each specific van pool group. Um, that group, they get to choose their vehicle um, per, per van pooling law, it does have to be seven seats. So we either have the minivans, we have the seven seater SUVs, and then we also have 15 passenger vans. And then everyone gets going. So step three, so the drivers will take turns giving everyone time to relax. So it's my job to help the group come up with two approved drivers on each vehicle who can take turns driving. If everyone wanted to drive that was in the vehicle, we can obviously go through that approval process to see if they could be approved so they could be a driver as well. Some people really love driving, um, other people don't. So there's plenty of flexibility to fit everyone's needs right there. And then obviously the goal is they can, they can enjoy the ride. So they can use the time in the vehicle to enjoy number one cost savings and then hopefully have a little bit less stress if they're not the ones directly behind the wheel. They'll have, they can either, you know, take a nap, watch something on Netflix, you know, just take a break for a little bit. So why commute with enterprise? So first and foremost, so the benefits to the employees, to the riders who would be in the vehicle is statistically over the course of the year, the cost savings is if they were to join a van pool is about $6,000. Um, they get a brand new recent model vehicle that is reliable, it's well-maintained. Uh, we do refresh them every six to 12 months for our groups that continuously stay out. So the group is always going to be in a nice new reliable vehicle. Um, we have 24 seven roadside assistance. So 365 days a year, there is a toll free number that the group can call if something were to happen. The primary, the primary goal is to obviously make sure that the group is safe and okay when the service gets out there. And then the, our roadside assistance team will help accommodate the group. So whether that is, you know, helping arrange them rides to get home, um, getting them a new vehicle, whatever the case is, we will do that as quickly as possible so they can get to and from the work site or obviously to and from their home. Um, preventative maintenance costs. So Enterprise takes care of all the preventative maintenance costs. So we will take care of oil changes, tire rotations, you know, anything else that may that the vehicle may need. Um, we do call our main contact. We do have one main contact. It's usually a volunteer where well, we ask them to volunteer um, on each van. And that is just our day to day contact. And we do a health check with them every 30 days just to make sure everything's OK on the vehicle and also to record the mileage. Uh, we don't ask them to record it. Um, that's something that we take care of just so they don't have to worry about that. But if the vehicle does need maintenance, uh, we will give them a list of enterprise approved shops that they can take it to and it'll be billed to us. We do just ask that they either call ahead if they don't have time to wait or they can just show up if they have a little bit more free time to wait to have that done. And then we'll get the record of the maintenance being done. Comprehensive physical and liability insurance. So part of the van pooling program is us as, as enterprise, we will cover the insurance on the vehicle. So we cover $1 million in third party liability, and we also cover the full damage waiver on the, on the vehicle. The only time, I do always have to provide this disclaimer, um, the only time that those would be null and void is if there was a contract violation. And the contract violations for our commute division are identical to a contract violation if you have ever rented a car from um, enterprise in general. So it would be, um, you know, drunk driving, DUI, off-roading, negligence, uh, failure to secure the keys. Um, but other than those, which typically don't happen in the commute division, um, we would cover, again, anything up to a total and $1 million in third party liability damage. And then finally, we have month to month flexibility. So all, we just want people to try our program without obviously the goal that they're gonna love it and they're gonna enjoy it. 
um, but there is no long-term contract for the group. Um, so if they do have 30-day flexibility, so if they try it out for 30 days and they decide it's not for them, they can get they can get out of the van pool. I can tell you that statistically, that average length of our van pools, at least within the tri-state area, is four to five years that we have going on right now. So the people that do get in it really do enjoy the program and see the value in it, and they, and they don't want to leave. Um, Amy or Kathleen, could you flip flip to the next one, please? All right, perfect. So bring your company a smarter way to work. So these are some of the benefits for the actual employer. So what I previously went over was the nuts and bolts of the program, how it works and what the benefits are to the employees. So the benefits to your company. So retain and attract top talent. So we have found working with organizations all over the United States that depending upon what your current business model is, a lot of people are having a hard time retaining and attracting top talent, and it does boil back to transportation. Um, whether you have employees that might be taking two buses to get there, maybe they're already carpooling with a group of individuals, maybe they're getting a ride with somebody, but not having that reliable transportation can cause an issue with retaining your employees. Um, Reducing infrastructure cost. Obviously, with the ever-changing climate that we have right now, that you know, that is going on right now. Um, I don't know how many companies are currently building parking lots, um, but eventually, when people come back to work and growth starts happening again, you know, the cost of building a parking lot can be extremely expensive, and this is a way to help not have to endure those costs to the business. Um, and then obviously improve sustainability. So, you know, the less vehicles that are on the road equals the less CO2 emissions and can improve the overall sustainability. We are also able to provide the employers um, data, whether it's monthly, quarterly, annually, showing the impact that how many vehicles you have out with your company and the reduction in CO2 emissions and what that means for your overall sustainability goals. Um, the companies that currently use us, they a lot of them will put it on their website if they do track sustainability, call, sustainability goals, uh, like bragging rights, just to show another piece on how they're helping the environment. Um, and then finally, how it works. Some of this I, I already went over, but um, it never hurts to reinforce it a little bit. So our biggest thing is we design a program to meet your business goals and meet your employees goals. We do not have a cookie cutter program. Every business and their employees are different. Um, and we obviously try to build a program that's going to align ourselves with what your goals are. Again, it's, it is our job to help connect the coworkers who live near each other. And obviously we supply the vehicle. Um, I just briefly mentioned this a little bit, but track the success with real time reporting and quarterly impact reports. Um, again, we could do monthly, quarterly, annually. We have some accounts in the beginning that want this impact reporting weekly um, so they can really see the value of the program to you know, continue to help sell it to their employees for us as well. And then finally, from onboarding to maintenance and you know, enterprises here to help. Um, obviously, you have Commute with Enterprise. We are the van pooling division, but we are backed by the company Enterprise Holdings. So you do have the power of our company behind the Commute division. Um, and we also have the network of the Enterprise locations as well behind us if we need to utilize that for anything. So thank you, Amy and Kathleen, for uh, allowing me to jump on here for a few minutes. And um, I think you all have a few more slides and uh, I'll be anxious to take any questions that anyone has in the chat box at the end.
excuse me about uh, sorry about that i uh i had uh, to uh, switch my camera back on excuse me my microphone back on anyway thank you kate i appreciate your input and giving the overview with the van pool um program that commute with enterprise offers and again that's one of the the tools that uh, we have when we do customized plans we actually have uh, commute with enterprise come in with us and then like today we're doing the virtual um the virtual uh seminar here so i just think that um what the program offers you with your customized uh, commute plans as far as carpool matching we can do transit routes you can do your van pools as kate uh, mentioned we can do park and ride uh, you can see all the park and rides that are available for you throughout the state and then also if you choose to bike uh, into work you can put in your route for bike uh, paths and then we say walking buddies you can actually uh, select walking as one of your modes and it'll provide a walking route for you and with that we say walking buddies you can actually select a uh, bike buddy as well and then we have a whole um, telework toolkit available you, that we can customize and um, work with you on your telework uh, assistance what i'm going to show you next is actually uh, when you go into the program and you're going to select a ride so we did a mock-up one here and so it's from the right here delaware office down in beach street in wilmington to dover and you'll be able to see how many carpool um, options are available so you see on the screen here when you're looking at it your carpool uh, matches van pools and i'll get back to that in a second uh, your transit routes your bike routes and then your walk routes so for purposes of today from uh, what kate has talked about you, we actually, if you go in and put that route there, it says there are 18 van pools. But what we do, we actually uh, work directly with Commute with Enterprise. So that information gets forwarded to them when you put in your uh, find a ride and that match comes up. Your name and your information gets inputted to uh, Commute with Enterprise. Then they'll contact you directly to work on a customized plan. Uh, going back to the when you see these van pools here actually anytime you select um, if you would go up and hit carpool it would give you your top five selections and then you can always see all of your uh, matches but it will give you the top five and then on the map here you'll see all the p's so that are all the parking rides that are available to you for that route that you selected. So we selected the route from Wilmington to Dover, all of those park and ride options. So if you, you know, we're gonna do a van pool, you could select one of those park and rides to be able to meet up um, with your other uh, van pool buddies. So we have a couple benefits too to our program. So we have the guaranteed ride home. So just say you did van pool into, into work and there is an emergency or you're not feeling well, you can actually get reimbursed for that, for an alternate way home. So we could, um, we could reimburse you for a cab or an Uber up to five times a year. And how that happens is when you're a member of the program and you record that clean commute, you actually save that receipt from the Uber or the cab and then we have a guaranteed ride home reimbursement form and that's available through our um, our website or you can download it through the app you send that to us and like i said you can use that benefit up to five times a year so that's a nice feature one of the other features that we have is the rewards program and so for every clean commute that you record you actually earn points for those and so when you are to say we're going to say van pooling so you're clean commuting you're van pooling you record that you actually earn up to 200 points per day and then those points can be redeemed for um, we have over 500 rewards in our uh, program today and we also do a monthly drawing so with that monthly drawing you could take some of your points and you could put them towards the drawing and um, this month is actually we're doing two fifty dollar gift cards and you actually can select the gift card that you would like to receive and so i just wanted to go over how you can get started so if you are not a member you can actually register two ways you could go onto the right here delaware website or you could download the right here delaware app you complete your profile and we say add a profile picture because when you do 
um, enter into the drawing, one of the prerequisites is that you um, have a profile picture in there. And um, let me go here. So what we're asking you to do, some of the next steps is, you know, you complete your profile. And then you can plan your commute so you can search for van pools, your car pools, any of the transit routes, you know, the bike or the walking. And when you record those clean commute trips, um, like I said, you can earn all types of rewards and and redeem those points that you uh, want for the different rewards. And then also we have available to you our how to videos. So through the Rideshare Delaware website, and you see the link here with the how to it connects you to different how to videos so how to complete your profile how to um, for get a job get a excuse me for um your uh guaranteed ride home so there's different uh tutorials in there but then you can always reach out to us we actually uh at the end we have all the links and the uh, website and things that are available to you they're right here. You can link to us there. You can send us questions, you know, through Facebook and things like that. I did want to say thanks to to Kate again, and here's her direct information. And for uh, those who have participated today, we're actually going to we'll send you out a follow up um, email. And with that email, we'll include the presentation so you'll have all the information and the links available to you. And before we go any further, I did want to open it up. Um, Amy, our other team members, Amy and Arlene, are there any questions in the chat that um, that Kate can answer for us? Sure. Thank you, Kathleen, and, and thank you, um, Kate, as well. Um, no questions yet, but but something that I think many people are currently thinking about as they're returning back to the office is obviously right now um with the pandemic and i know van pooling is still successful so can you just maybe give us a, a quick overview of how um commute with enterprise is either directing their their current van pools or those employees who are in van pools or or if you have new employers coming to you um just how are you directing them with with the pandemic currently that's a good question um i do get something similar to that probably three times a day right now um so like you mentioned we we have seen you know we do still have the van pulls out we've actually seen an increase in van pulling since march um and it's been it's been for a few reasons whether you know public transportation wasn't necessarily running um alongside with start and stop shift times uh, be because of reduced schedules for public transportation, number one. Um, and number two, un unfortunately, you know, people haven't always been comfortable riding with strangers. Um, I've gotten that feedback more recently that they would prefer to ride with people that they work with, um, even if they don't know them. Uh, you know, extremely well. If they're working with them, they they might feel a little bit more comfortable. We cannot, we are not making any recommendations as far as, you know, how many people are allowed to be in what vehicle because we are not a public health company, so we cannot make those recommendations. But I can share, you know, what we have done for others. Um, we have some groups that we've actually installed at their request. We've installed uh, plexiglass in between the rows, whether it's the minivan or the 15 passenger vans. We have some that, um, you know, they're reducing capacity of the riders in the in the vehicles to provide social distancing. And when they do that, we're being a little bit more flexible on the rate with them because they will need more vehicles to obviously provide the social distancing piece. And then, you know, we have some groups that are like, I've already, you know, that let's say they've been around and they've been with us since prior to March, their opinion is we've already been working together since this and they have not reduced capacity and they are just moving along as normal. Um, but we have done as a company, number one, the vans are, you know, they're now cleaned with hospital grade disinfectant and medical cleaner. Um, so that was taken up a notch in the spring from what we were previously using. And any new van, 
we will mail to the coordinator. That's our day to day contact. We will mail it to their house, what we call our clean car kit. So they will get a 30 day supply of masks, gloves, uh, paper towels and a disinfectant pod that they can put into a water bottle that we provide them. They just have to add water to ideally be cleaning the van um, in in between in between rides, you know, whether it's daily or in between the morning and the afternoon, you know, whatever the group decides. We do provide the 30 day supply of that in hopes that it'll, you know, set the stage and set good habits and, you know, with to keep the vehicle clean. Um, so those are the things that we have been doing just, you know, to give you a different scope of what is out there, what people are asking for right now. Oh, that's that's great information for, you know, for the the riders to have. And um, are there any other questions, uh, Amy or Arlene? Um, no, that that is it. But Kate, thank you okay. again. I think um, that is, is some great information that commute with enterprise is doing for the commuters and and the van pullers and um if anybody you know had any hesitation at first i think you just answered all that so thank you for that yeah Absolutely. And, and one other one other thing that we're going to be um you know dealing with coming up in the new year is the we call it the restore the corridor so it's the maintenance project that's going to be happening um on i-95 and so it's a good time now to to be a part of the program and get some of those options out there as far as maybe setting up a van pool to um, to make your commute much uh, more stress free. And one of the other things I did want to put down here that uh, we're going to be doing another info series on December 18th. We're going to be focusing on get a job, get a ride. And that is an employer program that uh, DART reintroduced in September of uh, 2020. And then I just want to go ahead here again. We want to just say thank you for 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 again for Kate for all the great information. We want you to you know pre-plan uh, your commutes as you think about returning back to the office. And then for those that are traveling to or through the Wilmington area, again, for that whole Restore the Corridor project, we'd like you to pre-plan for that. And uh, we're available through any, you know, you can reach us through our general uh, at Rideshare, you can reach us through our website, and also through our, um, you know, you can call us directly, and uh, any of the uh, social media sites as well. And uh, Amy, Arlene, any, any other things you'd like to add before we close out the day? Just just a general thank you and a happy Thanksgiving to all. Yeah, great. Anyway, thank you again and uh, we will see you, excuse me, see you and talk to you again in December. Bye bye.